Joanna says, some researchers see shame as something that is very destructive. The consensus seems to be that it is an emotion that is always destructive. Do you agree with this? No, that's absolutely ridiculous. And only modern psychologists and probably social psychologists would be foolish enough to even dare to posit such something so absolutely absurd. Um, psychopathy and shamelessness are the same thing. So shame is sh shame no emotion is always destructive any emotion taken to an extreme can be destructive just like any value taken to an extreme you know made into one thing can be destructive so um, joy can be destructive I mean people who are manic are in some sense possessed by a radical excess of positive emotion and they they get incredibly impulsive and so, and it's terribly destructive. I mean, there's almost no form of insanity that's more destructive than mania. People will go out and spend all their money, all their family's money, and, well, it engage in all sorts of hyper-optimistic interactions with the world. It will result in their complete ruin. So, you know, people think of happiness as an untrammeled positive. Well, if you think of happiness as positive emotion, which is partly true because it's also the absence of negative emotion. If you think of happiness as only a good, then you have no idea about the pathologies of positive emotion and they're manifold. And shame is like if you do something stupid and destructive to yourself or to yourself and the broader social community, you should feel shame and you should pay attention to it and you should learn from it. And if you're not capable of doing that, that then people should stay the hell away from you because you're shameless and of course for most of Western history and I don't know enough about other forms of history to also make the same comment to call someone shameless was a was a, was a tremendous insult it meant that they didn't have enough sense to be appalled by their own pathology and there's that's that's just not a good thing at all